Beethoven. The popular restaurant still operates in its original building during the summer, which was moved to its current location after being saved from demolition in the late 1970s. The Wildcat Cafe was renovated from 2011 to 2013. The city hosted a grand opening of the new Wildcat Cafe on the 16th of June 2013. 112. The Gold Range Bar, also known as the Strange Range and listed in the circa 1989 phone book as such, one of the oldest and most colorful drinking establishments in the Northwest Territories and featured in Elizabeth Hayes' novel Late Nights on Air and Mordecai Rickler's novel Solomon Gursky was here. 113. Yes, we could read about this Gold Rain Bar, Wildcat Cafe, and the Wild Knife River or something, but we'll look at that later. The Gold Range is a prominent hotel and bar located in Yellow Knife. First opened in 1937. Wildcat Cafe is oldest restaurant in Yellow Knife. Downtown contains the Capital Area Park. A short but pleasant stroll by City Hall, 114. The Prince of Wales Northern Heritage Centre, 115. The Legislature. 116. The Prince of Wales Northern Heritage Centre is a museum containing exhibits of the history and culture of Inuit, Inuvuluit, Dean, Metis and non-Aboriginal peoples of the NWT. It is found just north of downtown on an attractive location overlooking Frame Lake. Near the Prince of Wales Northern Heritage Centre, the Northwest Territories Legislative Building houses the Territories Legislative Assembly. The Northern Arts and Cultural Centre, which is located in Sir John Franklin High School and is the city's largest indoor stage for theatre and musical presentations. 117. Elon the Muskox, Elon Muskox, a mosaic culture horticultural living sculpture of a muskox exhibited in front of City Hall. 118, 119. Other notable attractions include the Ingraham Trail, local fishing lodges, bush planetals, the unique architecture of Old Town with the Bush Pilots Monument, and any off numerous lakes surrounding Yellowknife many of which include beaches. Historical sites. Back Bay Cemetery Pioneer Graveyard, 1938. Bank of Toronto Log Cabin Bank, 1944. Canadian Pacific Airlines Float Base Old Town Float Plane Base, 1946. Fire League Studio Giant Mine Log Cabin, 1939. Hudson's Bay Warehouse Hudson's Bay Company Trading Post, 1945. Log School House Yellow Knife's First School, 1939. Old Fort Providence First Trading Post in the Region, 1789. Weaver and Devore Trading in Operation Since 1936. The Wildcat Cafe Longest Serving Restaurant. Post Office Community Post Office since 1956. Media. Print. The Yellow Knifer, published by Northern News Services, is the major newspaper serving Yellow Knife, published twice weekly on Wednesday and Friday. Northern News Services also publishes Northwest Territories News Forward slash North every Monday, which serves the entire NWT. As well. There is a L'Aquilon, a French language newspaper published weekly. Edge magazine is also based in Yellowknife where it began in 2011 and covers arts, events, people, culture and economy around the city. Two magazines are based in Yellowknife, above and beyond and up here, both offering northern related news and lifestyle articles. Radio. Frequent.
frequency call scene branding for Metal and Otis from 95.3 CBN YFM CBC Music Assorted Music Public Radio Canadian Broadcasting Corporation Rebroadcaster of CBU FM, Vancouver. FM 98.9 CFYK FM CBC Radio 1 Talk Radio. Public Radio Canadian Broadcasting Corporation part of CBC North FM 100.1 CJCD FM 100.1 The Moose Adult Contemporary Vista Broadcast Group FM 101.9 CKLB FM CKLB Radio. The voice of Dean Ender Community Radio Native Communications Society of Northwest Territories First Nations Community Radio FM 103.5 Civ FM Radio. Taga Community Radio Society Radio Taga French Language Community Radio. Television. OTA Channel Cable Call Sign Network Notes 8, VHF. 10 CFYK DT CBC Television Flagship Television Station for CBC North 11, VHF, 9 CHTY TV Aboriginal People's Television Network 13, VHF, 4 CH 4127 ICI Radio Canada Telecommunity Owned Rebroadcaster of CBFTDT, Montreal. No part of the Northwest Territories is designated as a mandatory market for digital television conversion. Only CFYK converted its main transmitter in Yellowknife to digital. On the 10th of August 2012, NASA announced that the section of Mars where the Curiosity of the Mars Science Laboratory mission landed would be renamed Yellowknife in recognition of the city of Yellowknife. Yellow Knife is usually where scientists start geological mapping expeditions when researching the oldest known rocks in North America. 120 Notable People Dina Hinshaw, Chief Medical Officer of Alberta. Margot Kidder, film and television actress best known for playing Lois Lane in the Superman movies of the 1970s and 1980s, was born in Yellow Knife. Kevin Poe, world champion curler. Shane Koi Chan, poet of anti-bullying poem to this day among others. Tobias Miller, film and television actor best known for his roles on Battlestar Galactica and Stargate SG-1. Vic Mercredi, Metis hockey player, first person born in the NWT to be drafted into the National Hockey League. Dustin Milligan, film and television actor, Lead actor in the first season of The Beverly Hills, 90,210 spin-off on Dracula on Skids Creek. John Sissons, politician and the first judge of the Supreme Court of the Northwest Territories. Greg Vadick, National Hockey League player. Max Ward, pioneering bush pilot and founder of Ward Air, later sold to Canadian Airlines. See also. Arctic Air. CFNAHQ Yellow Knife. Fred Hen Territorial Park. History of Northwest Territories Capital Cities. List of Mayors of Yellow Knife. List of Municipalities in the Northwest Territories. List of Tallest Buildings in Yellow Knife. Stanton Territorial Hospital. Yellow Knife Water Aerodrome. Yes, that was interesting. <clears throat> I like to read this again. So I will add it to my read again list. And I did read the moon, the moon PDF last night. Yes, I'm a little bit tired today because I'm trying to lose a lot of weight. So not eat uh, so much food. I have to eat a uh, banana or something. But I'll do that in Dennis. That was last edit 22 June. Yellow knife. Yes, but yellow knife is next to, uh, to Great Slave Lake. So uh, I think I should read it now. That was yellow knife. Yes, but then uh, 
the great slave leg to do that now. Yes, because uh, then things should. Uh, yes, first I will make a note. Well, that could be a city I should go to. Go to if I like to visit this uh, northern northern uh, territories in Canada one day. Because this city had three or four, or four months with like a normal summer. Have a lot of sun, sun and stuff in the summer, four months. Yellow knife. Yellow knife. Yellow knife. Yellow knife. Yellow knife. Yellow knife. Yes, I put my computer to sleep this night. But I must mention, uh, I'm not going to a lot of stuff because I already have too much but I, I think we should do the Great Slave Lake then uh, they had uh, some famous I don't remember but I find it this, this hotel and we don't need to the knife river That's too short. I'm not going to make a video just about ten to eight lines of text. So uh, yes, the wild cat cafe, the old, but at the pen, yes, I have some text there. That's part of the yellow knife. Yes, there was mention uh, something else. Because I will never get back to read this again if I not do it uh, today. Yes, Imperial. There was this uh, Jolliffe, Jolliffe Islands. They have some whole houseboat community there. But that will be very cold. That's like super, super cold in the winter. You need to have some special boats there. Can surviving super, super cold on this lake. But that's Imperial Oil Company there. I don't know if we should do that. I have to think about that if we do this. Yes, because that would take all this mine. We have to put, but I put this on my read again list. I will get back to here one day in the in the future. Ice road truckers, ice roads. They have ice road there. I have seen this ice road truckers. Yes, we could read about ice roads too. Because then uh, just more and more days, more and more days of reading. Yellow knife airport.
but I have to go back to that later. Yes, they have a lot of links there. I'm not going to do that. Okay, this gold ring bar. Then let's close it, but not do more. Uh, Wildcats, gold range bar, the gold range, the gold range in Yellowknife, Canada. Could uh, go there and sleep there, but probably that's not uh, not cheap. Probably you find a cheaper place than this one. No, there's a bar that probably a lot of people drinking there, a lot of noise, so probably that's better to sleep somewhere else away from this place because this is a place people are going and drinking and party. So probably there's a lot of uh, 52 rooms. Yes, I will be an older man, in more than age 60 if I ever get there. I'm not going to sleep on that party, kind of party hotel with wild drinking parties too late night. I need a quiet place. This is 11, uh, 11. and uh, this is uh, for public. So let's uh, start upload this. I need something to eat because I'm not eat uh, so much food the last many days, but that's just good. Because now it's uh, 26, it will go up to uh, 30 again. Now I like to try to get below uh, 100 kilos. 20, uh, 28 July next month. I hope I can just go like 99.7 or something. I've not been uh, below 100 kilos in like 15 years, many many years ago. So I will start upload this.